good. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Would you like to introduce yourself and tell us where you're working and what your title is right now? I'm Ryan Bushy. I'm the motion graphics manager for the Tampa Lightning, Tampa Storm, and Emily Arena. Excellent. And how long have you been there? Off and on for four years. Off and on meaning? I took a little sabbatical to uh, Iowa City to pursue a uh, personal career goal and I was director of communications and special events for the Delta Chi Fraternity International Headquarters. Just uh, wanted to take some time to work on some personal development, professional development, learn a little bit outside of the motion graphics world and uh, kind of get into a little more in depth with brand management and marketing and kind of learn a different side of things than what I've been working on previously. Okay. And what brought you back? Uh, the warm winters. <laughs> if I never have to snubble show ever again. Uh, snubble show. Shovel snow ever again. <laughs> Even just saying it just brings back fear. Um, I'm happy to say all winter I wore shorts outside uh, since coming back, so it's been a pretty successful trip back. Excellent. Um, I also got married. So my wife did not want to move to Iowa because she's a very smart woman. <laughs> and uh, just so happened I came back and this job management version of what I was doing before had opened up and stars kind of aligned. And I'm very glad to be back with the team and the organization and, and you know, the, some of the greatest people in sports. Well, what is your favorite part about your job? There's it's a loaded question. Um, <laughs> I have to say on more recent uh, topic is is playoffs. Uh, the Lightning were coming off a great Stanley Cup final run, just, just a little short from uh, hoisting the Stanley Cup. And this year we made it all the way back to the Eastern Conference Finals. I was a part of the team that developed a lot of what you saw on the ice, on the ribbon boards, on the television screens, anything that you saw coming from um, our entertainment show side of things was, was me and my team. And um, really as soon as one of your graphics hits, and the crowd just loses their mind, and they you know make noise, get loud, and the fans are out of their out of their you know seats, just clapping, cheering, screaming. Um, it's it gives you a high. It's it's a rush, and there's really nothing like nothing else out there like that. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on getting married. Um, so, what has life been like for you since that? Professionally. Professionally. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Michelle. Um, so since I started back with the Tampa Lightning, they've instituted a, a whole new um, element to our in-game uh, entertainment and advertising. Uh, it's IPTV, Internet Protocol Television. We ha now have over 643, give or take, uh, new television displays throughout the concourse, upper level, club levels, um, that just, they, we run, you know, currently what's showing on Lightning Vision, whether it's game or you know, intermission uh, pieces, along with advertising. Um, we do what we call sidebars, so you have, we have your, uh, your show actually showing here, and the little advertisements on the side. Some places we have full advertisements, we have animated billboards, um, animated menus. Um, we just plastered it as, you know, as much as we could to really give the fans you know, something to look at, something to entertain them, whether they're in their seats or in, in the hallways. Mm -hmm. And um, it's been fun. <laughs> uh, challenging and uh, so far rewarding. We've got you know phase one, which was just getting it started. We got that complete, and now we go back and say, all right, well it started, but how can we make it better? Mm -hmm. And that's where we are now this off season. Now you guys have kind of been in the press a bit. A little bit. Um, tell me a little bit about that and how that feels. It's always great to be recognized. We do a lot of things behind the scenes that the average fan doesn't know. Um, we you know, run videos, special features on our players, um, fun interactive games to keep the fans engaged when there's uh, no action going on, on the ice. And, you know, you don't hear a lot about it. The fans always just, you know, they, they leave the stadium, they had a great time. Sometimes we'll get a little letter, hey, had a great time at the game, great job on the anthem. You know, little things, but, you know, we're, we're behind the scenes and, you know, we don't get a lot of the attention. And so you graduated, like, 12, 15 years ago. It feels like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was 2009. Yeah. And um, so how, how well did your education here at Kaiser prepare you for? Because <laughs> I know the answer to this one. <laughs> um, it, it's truly invaluable. Um, everything I learned here, I was able to take out 
into the world, um, into my job interviews and into, um, you know, what I'm doing now, mm -hmm. um, I guess I'll tell the story of, you know, kind of how I got, yeah. you know, my job now. <laughs> um, I probably sent out hundreds of resumes, hundreds when I first got out and I was work I was an assistant manager at a retail store here in Lakeland, living out in Tampa. Just please, just somebody give me a job. <laughs> I don't want to work retail anymore. God bless those people that do. Um, and I didn't get a single call. I, got, I maybe had eventually got one or two phone interviews, but nothing ever really came through. And I came across a Craigslist listing mm -hmm. for an, an internship with the Tampa Bay Lightning. And all it said was graphic design. Tampa Bay Lightning must be a hockey fan, huge hockey fan. Like, check that box off. All right, graphic designer, check. I can apply. Cool. And they call me back. They probably call me back I'm six hours after I had submitted my resume. I actually forgot to, you know, submit um, some like works of art and things like that that they had required. And I was like, oh man, I'm not going to get this job. I'm not going to get it at all. And for whatever reason, they call me back anyway. I'm like, awesome. Come in for my interview. I have my portfolio. I, I did some t-shirt designs and stuff off the side. We introduce ourselves and I bust that thing open. I'm like, look at this design. It's awesome. Look at these t-shirts I made. Look at this pamphlet. I was published in, you know, this magazine, you know, here showing all this stuff. And the guy just, whoa, hey. <laughs> this is an animation job? <laughs> Your stuff looks great, but can you animate? And really, no, I can't animate. I've never touched After Effects ever in my life. I played a little bit with Flash, so I understand keyframes, if that's what you're talking about. Um, and they were kind of like, well, you know, you're really energetic and, you know, you have a lot of confidence, but, you know, you just, you have to be able to animate. And I go, give me two weeks from Everything that I learned at Kaiser University has taught me, which was, give me a program, let me play around with it, I will know enough to get the job done. And he was like, all right, two weeks, give me two weeks. And they let me do tutorials on the job, I was learning After Effects while I'm trying to work on projects, and um, they kept me on for the full season. I'm probably within the last week or two before my internship's up, we're just kind of finalizing some of my last projects. Uh, we were not making the playoffs that year, so it was quickly approaching and my boss quit. He had found a better opportunity somewhere else and he was like, good luck. And uh, yeah, my boss pretty much just said, get, you know, get us through the off season and maybe we'll have a job. And as it turned out, um, we had made the playoffs. We went all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals against Boston Bruins. And I was there every step of the way. It was me and another fellow intern who was also brought on full time and it was two interns basically running the whole show. <laughs> Season's over, offer sheets are on our table, boom, signed. That's crazy. I remember you calling me and saying, oh my God, <laughs> After Effects, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what do I do? But you actually <clears throat> turned me on to Video Copilot, which was incredible. Video Copilot, shout out. And we've since <laughs> added After Effects to our, our, our that would have been great before. Him. Right, I know, I know. <laughs> You're <No>. welcome. <laughs> Let me interrupt just a second. You were talking about that second intern, and I heard you tell a story before you got up here tonight about you and that other intern and him possibly being a better animator, but... So I'm not the best animator. Um, I... I I'm talented, at least I, I think so. I'm not as confident as uh, some other people. <laughs> <laughs> but I know I'm, I'm good at what I do. <clears throat> and my counterpart at the time, he was phenomenal. He had gone to an animation school, very well known, up in Pennsylvania, and the guy's just, everything he touches is great. The one, the one advantage I felt I had, and namely I learned it here, was I'm, I'm good at compositions. I, I like to lay things out. Um, I have, I feel that I have a great eye for uh, visual hierarchy. I know what I want you to look at. I know, all right, this text needs to be this size. This image needs to be over here. Like I, I knew that, and I don't want to say I knew it better than him, but I incorporated it more. I wasn't so much worried about the animation portion until I had my composition laid out. Once I had my composition laid out, it's like, all right, how do I get this on the screen? How do I make this different? And um, I think it was a good, ebb and flow with me and him is he was great at animating and great at doing things but in the end like it needs to look like this so I would I would start from the end and, and work my way back while he would start with the cool idea and work his way forward and it I think it gave 
our department a lot of um, advantages. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like, you know, just everything looked exactly like this, 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 this. He brought an idea and I brought an idea and we were able to build on that and, and really feed off of each other. Mm -hmm.